Hello, my name is Trudy. Um, today I weighed 350 pounds. Not that I've been intentionally dieting, but I somehow lost 4 pounds. Might just be water weight, I don't know. Um, today I have to go pick up my CPAC. They called yesterday. And I uh, don't actually stop breathing, but I get shallow enough breathing about 30 times an hour, which is a lot which is, explains why I'm so tired all the time. Um, so I have to go get that today. And uh, I guess my oxygen level also gets like 80%. So, yeah. And then I also wanted to um, make note, mostly to myself, because I have watched some videos where people say they wish they hadn't had the surgery and I don't want you know I want to look back at these videos I want to remind myself that we've dieted and we've exercised and I've gotten down to 240 pounds uh, doing what gastric bypass people do I ate one cup of food at a time I um, exercised and did all of that and I lost the weight. Granted I got sick in the middle and that kind of helped me along a little bit but um, I've done that and I can lose weight but it finds me and it usually brings company and so you know and I know there's complications I know I've heard all the stories on here I've heard some of the horror stories you know, you tell people you're going to have gastric bypass and they tell you, oh, you don't want to do that. And you should have the lap band and you should do this and you should do that. And um, I know. And I hem and haw all the time. But I know the gastric bypass is the right one for me. I just have to wait. But you know, I don't want all that comes along with having this body. I have to wear the CPAC. I don't want to do that. I don't like having things on my face. I don't want to take diabetes pills and worry about all the things that go along with diabetes. I don't want to take the cholesterol meds, even though I could still take those after, but hopefully not. I don't want to have all the stares and the giggles and the points about the fat chick. When I go clothes shopping and find something I like. I don't want to have uh, lost my train of thought. Sorry, I don't want to, when, when I find something I like. I don't want to find out that there's no size big enough to fit me. I've even gotten to the point I was so big one time that there was nothing in any store that could fit me. Uh, I'd have to order it. That that sucked. <laughs> that sucked a lot. I don't want that anymore. Um, yeah, I went to the mall the other day with my kids and there's stores that I feel like I'm not allowed to go into because those are skinny stores. They don't sell anything big for big people. There's a whole lot of stores I can't go into or I don't go into because there's nothing in there that would fit me. They look cool. When I walk by they look cool. But there's just nothing. And so, yeah, that would be really cool. There's a lot I don't want that comes with this body. And I know there's going to be a lot that comes with having the other body. That I'm probably going to get tired of and wish that I didn't have. But you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I know I don't like this side. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to enjoy the other side a lot better. Be healthier. Be able to do more. And that'll be good. Job better. Yay. So, yeah. Well, anyway, for those having surgery, good luck. For those healing, speedy recovery. For those waiting, I'm waiting with you. Talk to you later. God bless.